He went on to work with uh, Amy Winehouse, uh, Adele, uh, Bruno Mars. You got Grammy Awards. Uh, and, and, and here you are. Uh, you just got nominated for uh, Golden Globe for uh, Shallow from Star is Born. Right. You and yeah. Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. How fun is that? It's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, I worked with her on Joanne, the album, and she was writing songs for Star is Born. And, I love working with her because I think sometimes you picture people writing songs like you sit around the piano, but she's very specific. She makes everyone put headphones on because her voice is so special and to like have it that close in your ear, like it's, it's very inspiring. It makes you do different things and it was just like, I remember that when she sung that first note or like I'm off the deep end, it was so like felt so big and then we were just like, you know, chasing this idea. Did you realize it was going to be a huge hit? Um, it felt like there's certain songs, I never know when anything's going to be a hit, there's certain songs like in the room that you can just tell that everybody, like Tara sent out, you feel like, okay, this is a little deeper, this is a little more emotional. And she had like the end of the song and I was like, it was a real nice song, but I was like, I miss that gaga, like in Bad Romance, how she's always like, rah, 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 la, 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 yeah, can, I was like, can you put some, like, gaga in it? And so she takes the, then she came up with, like, in the shaha, shaha, lo, in the shaha, which now I'm singing sounds like one of your old Adam Sandler impressions. A little bit. A shaha, a shaha, a shalo. A shaha, a shaha, a shaha. In the shaha, shaha, lo. The... Here you are, uh, with Miley. Have you worked with Miley before? I don't think so. No, I actually, I saw her sing on the SNL 40th anniversary and when she sung 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. And I was watching the TV and I was just like, I, yeah. I, and she did this Nashville arrangement. I never heard her sing like that. And I basically, I kind of got her number, like, I don't know if I was, it was legal, but I, I started to <laughs> text her. And I basically kind of stalked her. She said she doesn't remember, but I stalked her for four years. Like, but <laughs> but it's, it's good because it all happened the way it's supposed to. Like, I, f I love this song. I love what we've done together. If we did it at a different time, this wouldn't have come out. So I fully believe, like, this is how it's supposed it to happen. Happens for a reason. Yeah. What, what are you doing tomorrow night with uh, Sean Lennon? Okay, we're going to do... So basically, it's the Christmas episode, which is so exciting to be a part of. Yep. It's insane. Saturday Night Live, big, uh, Matt Damon hosting. Yeah. It's a big holiday episode. Everyone big, freaks out. A big holiday episode. And they said for the second song, they want to do a, a holiday song. So, I, so Miley was like, let's do War Is Over, John and Yoko. Of course. And I was like, oh, that's such an amazing idea. And she just got such good ideas anyway. And I was like, we should ask... How do you feel about asking Sean on a Lennon? Because... He's, you know, his parents wrote the song. He's one of my oldest friends. He actually took me to my first Saturday Night Live when I was 11, because we, like, grew up in New York, and it was... I remember so, it was Ted Danson and Luther Vandross. No like, way! Yeah. So that's great. So you and Sean? So we're going to do War Is Over, and, um, and, it's, and it sounds so great. Miley just sounds so good singing it. Her voice is just so incredible. She's really one of the greatest voices, I think, of our generation. I'm so glad Absolutely. that I get to work with her. Uh, uh, Mark, I can't tell you how... Uh, I'm, I'm proud I am to say that I know you. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I'm so happy for you. And come back and much, much, much more continued success. Thanks so much. You dude. deserve it, buddy. Oh, awesome. thank, thank you. you. Mark Ronson, everybody.